Now we've looked at different periods of compound interest and uh, we looked at nominal versus effective interest and just a quick recap nominal is the stated the stated interest but what is stated is not always what is actually happening so effective interest is what is actually happening okay now there's two things that you might consider of actual happening so for example if I'm earning 12% interest uh, per annum compounded monthly that's a short way of writing um, that because you're gonna see that a lot okay there's two things that's actually happening either we are actually earning 1% per month or and we worked this out earlier the effective interest rate of 12% per annum compounded monthly is 12.68% per annum compounded yearly okay so this is what actually is happening now the reason why I'm stressing that is because when we look at our formula here's our formula the future value is the present value multiplied by the interest and over a certain number of times it was added now here what is very very important is that we always use the actual interest the effective interest we must use the effective interest so if I'm given this information I must either go and use the compound period in other words change the the interest to 1% and the number of times interest is added must now be um, calculated on the number of months we receive interest or I can use the effective interest rate and then I may use the number of years effective interest rate applied okay so let's go and have a look at how that works together in an example so here we are given an example in this example we are told that Tanda invests 120,000 Rand he is quoted a nominal interest rate do you see there quoted okay a nominal interest rate that's the stated interest of 7.2 percent per annum compounded monthly so we see here we're going to be working with months so we're gonna have to divide everything with 12 okay calculate the effective rate per annum correct to three decimal places so we must go and calculate the effective rate per annum and remember the question that I said we should ask uh, then ask to calculate that what will happen what will happen to a hundred rand and we want the effective rate per annum so it would be per year okay so all we need to do is use this information in our formula f is equal to p 1 plus i to the power of n where my future value is unknown my present value is equal to a hundred rand I don't care about the hundred and twenty to calculate the effective rate per annum I'm just asking what's happening to a hundred rand in one year my interest what is my interest rate well I can't use 7.2 percent because that's per annum and we are working with monthly uh, 7.2 percent is also the nominal interest rate so this I here must be my effective interest rate either what is effectually happening every year or alternatively what is effectively happening monthly well we know we can work out the monthly one okay so it's 7.2 percent divided by 112 uh, sorry divided by 12 and that gives me an answer of 0 comma 6 percent per month okay that if I divide it with another hundred gives me 0 comma 0 0 6 okay now n is the number of times interest will be added okay not just once but actually every month for a year that's 12 times now with all this information we can go and substitute into our formula and this is what we're gonna get so 1 plus 0 comma 0 0 6 
to the power of 12. So let's go work that out. Our calculator. So we have 100 times 1 plus 0 0.006, close our bracket, to the power of 12. And there we go, 107.44. Oh, we must round three decimal places. So it's 0 0.442. So 107,442. Okay. So instead of just earning 7.2, that would have earned me 7 rand and 20 cents if it was only earned once a year. I'm actually earning, so the effective interest rate is going to be 7,442%. All I did was to subtract my original investment of a hundred rand. Okay, there we go. That is my effective annual interest rate. So just put per annum there at the back. Now let's have a look. How can we use this? Because now they tell me use the effective rate to calculate the value of Tanda's investment. Okay, if he invested the money for three years. So now we have the effective annual interest rate. So my future value is what I want. They're telling me to calculate my present value, my future value. Just drawing a quick timeline to help me. It really does help a lot. So I can either use this 12 or I can use the annual effective interest rate of 7442. Okay, the initial amount is 120,000. Okay, and the number of times I'm going to earn the effective interest rate, the annual effective interest rate is three times. So P is 120,000. I is 7,442 divided by 100. Gives me 0, 0,07442. And finally, n is now equal to 3. Why not 3 times 12? Because the interest rate I'm using is the annual effective interest rate and not the monthly infect, uh, effective interest rate. So if I put all of this in, I get 100, sorry, 120, 120,000. 1 plus 0, 0,07442 to the power of 3. And that's going to give us our answer. Let's just calculate it. 120,000 times 1.07442 to the power of 12. 28,000. Uh, 283,000. I apologize. 283,000. 283,000, 968.56, 968.56, that would be the future value of his investment after three years. You can go and test this, go and use instead of I, go and use our um, 7.2 divided by 12 and go and use in with 3 times 12 and you will get exactly the same answer. So go and test it, see if you get that answer and see you in the next video.